What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. And we have two bots again in this game. So we're going to be practicing the two bot um settings for the round one uh risk discord free for all tournament season two of 2022 settings for this game are world domination on earth 2209 ad auto setup 60 second turns fixed cards expert ai we have two in this game minimum of one maximum of two with lights and fog off and blizzards are on i'm in the fourth position in position one we have an expert ai in position two we have crackle 69 find the flag of barbados 6 14 hours played with 240 wins and 353 losses in position three we have an expert ai and in position four we have myself this is the main pete account kill pete strategy vcc 1691 hours played with 1805 wins and 664 losses black is going in northern europe He's thinking about it. In position five, we have Felicity Cisco. And I missed the flag. Where is that flag from? 496 hours played with 1,148 wins and 3 3 1. Lost a great record from blue. <coughs> In the final position, we have Exalt Live. Find the flag of St. Kitts and Nevis. 114 hours played with 97 wins and 158 losses. We're doing this live on Twitch. And I'm also going to be recording this game for YouTube. So let's see how badly I fuck this up. I have a very, very strong Northern Africa play, which can bleed into a Europe play. Or I could go the other way about it. Wow, that setup is actually really, really good for a start, huh? I think I hope to go good neighbor with black and blue, so I don't want to stack towards either of them. I'll I'll put my stack in Libya, um, giving me a line to Europe for my second turn. That might be too aggressive and scares the shit out of them. In which case, one of these guys slams into me. But yeah, blue has a really decent play for South America. And then black has a really decent play for Africa, or for Southern Africa. So I want to go this way, basically. Thread myself through these blizzards and take a second bonus. Hopefully not too, too quickly. All right. I do not ignore my chat either. Because also he's going to practice a lot. Yeah, he got to practice. <clears throat> what the fuck? 9 a.m. is your attorney right now. This is not attorney. This is just practice. Under the gun, did I just get scammed. I had such a great position. So what happened under the gun <laughs> is I made the settings progressive. So, I'm sorry. I fucked you over. And I didn't mean to. But, uh, okay, Green is thinking of putting in Russia. And mainland Europe? Oh, okay. Exalt doesn't want me to have mainland Europe. I won't be able to back both of my stacks out of that position. Hmm. Yep. The crackle finishes the Northern Europe position. I wonder. <laughs> How are you today under the gun apart from being violated? Zeterio's here. How's it going? Doing great. Had a nice poker session. Awesome. You guys making money? Well, it says auto host failing again. Frustrating Twitch. Get host anyways. Thanks, Bill. Dude. <laughs> Appreciate it, bud.
Phil says, the mighty Peace Wind. Yeah, good game. You do, God. <laughs> How's Phil doing today? Starting work, yeah. Isn't it lovely? You can get work done and watch Risk Television. The okay, yellow bot is in North America. He's all says, I'm done. These bots are to fucking get me. <laughs> you have to make phone calls. That's all you have to do. Lovely. Life is good. All right, so Crackle is taking up bonuses surrounding me. This is good. I'm very happy with how this game is going. Does white bot break one of my... Does it break the Europe bonus? Okay, it does. This five is going to go into me here or here. Yeah, okay. Sure. And it takes its own. Crackle says, good morning, Pete. How are you today? How are you today, sir? Hey, done person. <laughs> are the phone calls occasional? The obligation to take them occasional. Inquiring minds would like to know. All right, blue breaks the bot in North America. We don't want strong bots in this game. I'm starting to feel like this is the type of lobby you want. You want a two-bot game, I think, on fixed because bots are, are bad. Unless players let the bots get too big. Okay, yellow bot puts it in North America. Not a problem for me. And Crackle's getting 15. What does he do with them? And a set. Nice. It's a lot of troops. Crackle says, I'm feeling neighborly. I appreciate that. I'm also feeling neighborly. You're a gentleman, sir. Whoa, and he hits the bot stack. Okay. That was spicy. Okay, white bot has three troops coming in and a 10 set where? Right there. Do we see white bot roll my six? Nope, it hits exalt. Yeah, bots have a hard on for you, sir. And that is a GG, brother man. Take the first bounty on exalts. Bounties being scored in this tournament kind of different. Uh, first two bounties are worth three. Um, second is worth, or er, the third bounty is worth two points. And the final bounty, if you score it. The final two bounties, if you score them, are worth one each, so so it tears down slightly. Um, now what the fuck do we do with this situation?
Okay. Time to get some bounties. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Under the gun, indeed. So it says, me and another person are in a small apartment, so I don't have to take every call. But there are not many of us, so I take them when people call. More emails, for sure. Yeah, I prefer emails. I've pretty much stopped listening to uh, my voicemails now. And I tell people that. It's just like, don't leave a voicemail. Just email me. I work better having a written record of exactly what I said. So there's no ambiguity with interpretation, which you'd be surprised. It happens a lot. Looks like Blue's trying to kill Yellow. How's he going to get that to, though? Or is he just trying to take a bonus feeding Yellow to someone else? Uh, Vasky's here. Stoney's here. How's everyone doing today? Too bad Hasbro doesn't want to collab with the people that made Game of Thrones to make a map theme out there. Hasbro does. We have a Game of Thrones risk. We just don't have a Game of Thrones risk domination, uh, global domination map. Game of Thrones Risk is awesome, dude. I have that board game. It's really good. It's two boards. You get Westeros and Essos. It's it's and it ha and you get to play as like um, one of the one of six of the houses, and you get to use characters and they have special abilities and shit. It's like I highly recommend the Lord of the Rings or not Lord of the Rings, the um, Game of Thrones Risk. Uh, your friendly mod is here too. Hey Gando, how are you? Oh, is that why you like? VC, all the ambiguity. Um, what do I like about VC? I like it, it. I find it more fun leveraging a extra tool set that people aren't necessarily familiar with using. Okay, so Crackle gets the second bounty, so it's one and one, and there are four players remaining. And he ends his turn. Okay, white bot. Breaks Russia. Okay, we see a break. Okay, hopefully this won't offend my neighbor too, too much. But I want that bounty. There's no neutral position to leave my stack. Let's see if blue can take the bounty on black. Or if he even tries. Because that would maximize points in this game, right? If everyone gets fairly early bounties. No, he's going to hit me. All right. We were looking good on the game. We'll see, man. We'll see. Blue's going to break everything of mine now. me with Asia and Australia that Crackle can break with a 10 set if he wants. Oh, 
Oh, takes Australia for himself. Okay. Yeah, see, not looking so good. Not looking so good. Thank you for the fo follow, Johnny Ski1567. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. I don't have a correct play from this seat as far as I can tell. Right? I've, I've lost this game now. I'm pretty sure. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, is this a Prague Bounty Poker Tournament? Half the prize pool is already in Pete's pocket. He's also going to play some piano and come back to practice. Yeah, piano's fun. Comma style. Hey, that's tournament. This is a tournament practice game. You ham on blue, you think? Let's see what blue does. Well, blue takes the northern Europe bonus. Hey, John, thank you for the bit, sir. Anana Masana. Pog, you live. Pete, I've been watching you for months. I've never been able to see you live. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thanks for the tips. I reached master in 14 days because of you. Well, cheers, Anonymous. I'm, you know, it, it always warms, uh, warms my heart to hear that I am a benefit to you folks. So I'm grateful to be able to offer my, my thoughts and have them be valued. seems more neutral, right? This would give me a line to blue or or black. But we're in a bit of a stable three-player endgame now. More stable. I mean, I hold three bonuses. Black holds two, almost one. Blue has the most. So if blue sticks with this, he wins, right? He's not really incentivized to do much. Um, you would because of turn arm, then again, I got one. You're an official entry-level GM. Who am I to judge? I appreciate everyone's opinions on this. Hey, Glamis says, Pete, I watched your last video and dropped to novice again. Oh, Lamas, you can't blame me for that one, bro. Uh, <laughs> Black is trying to turn you into the middle point. Why did they change the bounty points? Because they are math nerds. Um, I think the issue that they were trying to solve for, whether or not you agree with it being an issue or not is up to you. But I think the issue they were trying to solve for is um, having one person have an extremely dominant game points-wise 
and that leading them to be guaranteed for the semis. So having the points be a bit flatter, uh, make it such that more people, like that, so that the scores will be less, uh, less volatile, basically. Okay, so black gets a chip in East Asia, but doesn't finish. Kind of stumped, to be honest. Are they trying to card block me? It's like I can't get a card there, I can't get a card there. Then I have to hit that way. Why did they change the boundary points? Did you go <laughs> to the, the GM to novice grind? Exactly. If we hit blue at that point, black has no advantage. You can end up them getting up on you. So I see the validity in your strategy. I tend to be more aggro. Yeah, you got. You kind of have to figure out how to push it and when to push it, right? Kill black? Question mark. Hey, JJ. the sense that blue is fairly aggro as well we got broken legend with the follow hey welcome how are you welcome to the stream push it push it real good i love it i love it hi zog Okay, Crockley, it's blue. Phil says, <clears throat> nice stable game now. Yeah, well, we shall see. Rewind is here. Hey, Rewind. I think that's chaos. I don't know if that's chaos. Let's see. What, it really depends on how Blue would like to get himself out of that. is thinking okay so he's gonna retake the north america he's gonna guard in mexico okay moves his position in northern asia a little bit hits black okay how hard Hard enough for me to kill him. So here's the game. If I kill Crackle, what do I end up points-wise? I would get second with two bounties, so that's ten, 16. And then blue wouldn't have a bounty. Bonus. Okay. 
bonuses. We're running across the board. Okay. Maybe there's a chance for me to actually win this game too. Which would be preferable. Let's see if I got it. GG. I think I do have it. I think I win. Good game. First in three bounties. You happy with that? Hope we do as well in our tournament game. Hmm. For the shits and gigs, did, or did Pete misbehave once again? I am I known for misbehavior, Heizung? I thought I was the best behaved man in the Risk community. What with all the dick jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining. Maybe even a little bit educational and informative you are interested in getting better at the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me i have a daily release on youtube i do fixed friday every friday i do the waiting on your best behavior podcast and i stream on twitch as often as i can and until next time for all of you on the path to world domination good games and good luck